Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Becky and I am going to be a second year first grade teacher. Now, if you've been following my videos before, I just finished my first year and I know that it's like been a while since I've made a video or been on like anything. I know in like one of like my like last vlogs that I think I uploaded like a few months ago, long time ago, I just had how I had like a really tough class and was having a really tough first year. That is totally true. I had like the craziest year of my life as my first year. It was very, very tough, had lots of highs, lots of lows. So the end of the year was just crazy. And then right after the end of the year, I did like lots of traveling, I moved. So it was just a busy end of the year and I haven't had time to come on here. So here I am. Um, if you can tell by the title of this video, I am moving classrooms, but I did move classrooms. So I'm still in the same school, still in the same grade, but I just had to move my classroom. So we have two levels. It's a super old building. I want to say we're like nearing 85 years, very old building. And so we have, um, we're not necessarily like wheelchair accessible and we have a student in a wheelchair. So we need to make sure that we have each grade on the ground floor. And of course I was the only grade first grade that had two um, of the same grade downstairs because we want to make sure that all of kindergarten is downstairs. So we had two first, one second, one third, and one fourth, and we needed intervention downstairs. So I got booted upstairs as well as like three other people are shuffling around. So lots of moving around this summer and I just happened to be one of them. I was a little sad at first to have to be packing up my classroom and moving it, but it is okay. I am good now. I've been, I came yesterday and did some setting up. Um, but anyways, um, back to my first year. My first year is crazy. I really, really want to film like a, um, all about my first year, things college didn't teach me like on one video. Um, I haven't decided if I want to put that up before this video or after this video. So I guess you'll see it whenever I post them. But I know some of you guys had lots of questions wondering how it went. And I feel like I learned so much and I have so much advice for um, either some people who are in college or some people who um, are going to enter their first year or even some people who just had their first year and it was crazy like mine. I feel like we could like relate. Um, so anyways, like I said, I'm moving classrooms. Here it is. Um, I am actually at the complete opposite end of the building. So before I was on the ground floor, like on one end, and now I am on the completely other end across the hall and up the stairs. So I am the furthest that I could be. Um, like I said, there were other people who were moving classrooms too. In my current classroom, it was one of our intervention rooms. So it had like title, speech, uh, something else, and uh, um el or something so there were four people in this room um so lots of people having to move stuff we actually had our kids like towards the end of the year help us move things so my stuff because my room had so many people in it, i couldn't put any of my stuff in it so i had my stuff in my old classroom a different classroom and then some in the hallway it was a hot mess but it is good now everything is up here minus like three things or something um but i came here yesterday i was like super overwhelmed i wasn't trying to come into my classroom until August because like I said, I just needed like a really long break just away from everything school. But I had a nightmare the other day that I came in on the first day of school and nothing was where it should be. And I freaked out and I knew that I just needed to come in here and get everything ready for my own peace of mind. So I was here yesterday, but I didn't feel any motivation to just like talk. I just wanted to do things and see where it took me. So I will insert all of that footage right here right now I montaged it kind of for you so I'll put that all right here and you can see everything that I got done yesterday
So we got quite a bit done yesterday and I'm curious if any of you guys were here last year for my classroom setup videos. My friend Laura was here last year with me helping. She came back, she's awesome. And she came and she helped me yesterday too. And she's also coming back today. Um, but yeah, if anyone was here for my classroom setup videos last year, I am super curious. Leave a comment down below. I'll see if I can create like a first year, like classroom setup um, playlist or something. I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, last year was insane. I took over for someone who retired after 36 years. The classroom just had so much stuff in it. So it actually took me like almost like two months or something crazy to set everything up. It took like two weeks to do the books, two weeks to go through all the manipulatives. And then it took me like another two or three weeks to set up like all the decorations, decor, everything, organize it all. So last year was insane and I'm not gonna lie, I was super panicked that this year was also going to be really crazy and bad with setting everything up. But yesterday proved to be so easy because I had organized so much last year, it was actually perfect. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, last year I had cubbies and I spent so much money on getting um, stuff to organize my things in my cubbies. And I'm gonna be honest, that was one of the reasons why I did not want to move because like I said, this building is super old. They all have, or most classrooms have the original lockers. And so the odds of getting the lockers removed are very slim. Like one person gets it a year and one of our second grade teachers really, really needed her class or her lockers removed. But I just lucked out. My principal like knows, I'm, I'm gonna say this, I'm the most organized person in this whole like school. I am, they will all agree. They all know my classroom is the most organized. So my principal knew that that was the main reason why I didn't want to move classrooms. She was gracious enough. She put me on the list to get my lockers removed. And the second grade teacher actually was going on maternity leave. And she's like, I don't want to reorganize everything. It's just not good timing. So they bumped me. I was the first one on the list to get my lockers removed. And they did it like the first week. So I have brand new shelving all right here. If you can tell this green spot right here, there was sh like a big shelf up there um, when the lockers were there and they had to take it down because like the molding right here kind of gets in the way. So I asked if they could put it back up and they said, no, they couldn't. So um, I think our custodians are gonna like fill the holes. There's like huge holes and paint over it. So that'll hopefully look a little bit better, but right now it's looking a little crazy, but we'll get it all fixed and everything. But I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna kind of explain like some of the stuff we did yesterday, what our plans are for today. And I'm hoping that I don't have to be here like longer than like a few days. I think we'll get it all pretty much set up, but we'll see how much stuff we get done today and we'll see. So when I came in here yesterday, pretty much all of my stuff was like, all right there <laughs> in that corner nothing was where it should be i actually came in right after the the cubbies were done i came in and i just like moved a bunch of stuff in there for them because i knew that they had like four other classrooms to move so all of that stuff is going to be reorganized and reconfigured i just threw it all on a shelf <laughs> for them um but i kind of am having it set up like last year in a way um last year i actually had like a door that connected to the classroom next to me so this year i have like a huge extra like chalkboard space and i have this amazing whiteboard so of course i decided that i wanted that to be my um guided reading area um i had this from last year with my kids book bins and it worked so well so i kept um that there um before i had it at like the front of my room but i did not like how i couldn't um like put stuff above it it was just kind of a pain to reach over so I put it over here this time I also if you notice I don't have a smart board I'm supposed to get a smart board so I'm assuming that it'll go like right there maybe I'm not sure um but yeah so I decided I wanted guided reading to go there my um I had this um these are like my mailboxes for my kids this I had right when they walked in because that's where I had it last year and it just like looked funny it was like cut up there and I just didn't like how it was like not level with the chalkboard so I moved it over here um I put my recess cart my recess cart actually worked really well last year I was a little nervous because those things they are not made the best and they're cheaply made but if you get something else that might be better it's just super expensive so that's what I compromised on and 
that worked pretty well because they didn't use it a ton i actually had like pretty much the same thing except it had bigger drawers on this side and then like the smaller drawers over there i had that same thing for extra supplies um my kids trashed it they were just very destructive like even that worked but like some of it was a little iffy but they pretty much trashed the other cart so i took that one home and i'm gonna use that for my own crafting stuff and i bought like a sturdier just tower um off of target that should be here in a couple days but i decided i'm gonna be way more stingy this year have a lot more ground rolls with when they can use that stuff because they just like mutilated that cart and all the stuff in it so we live we learn that's gonna be different um my library I knew I wanted to have like a little sectioned off um so yesterday I actually I had this up against the wall and then I had um this one off to the side and I was gonna buy another um one of those but I remembered this was actually the shelf that was up on this wall here. Yeah, now you can see how crazy the walls. Um, this shelf was up there and they couldn't put it up, but they left it in case I wanted to use it. So I just kind of decided I wanted to see what it looked like because it's super tall, like it even goes past the window. Um, but yeah, it ended up working. It looks nice enough. It'll save me the money that I would have spent on another one. Um, so this is kind of how I'm going to organize the library. I need to like get an extra bin. I had like Mo Willems books and Fly Guy. I need to get another book bin to like split them up. Um, but yeah, fit all of my books in there. All of like my leveled readers for my kids are down there. I'm definitely going to reprint some new labels that the kids kind of got messed up. Um, but yeah, that's right there. I love like the look right here but i do not like how this like bookshelf looks on the back because it's definitely meant to be up against a wall so i have some contact paper that i'm just or bulletin board paper i'm just gonna like sticky tack to the back of that um i'm gonna use like the dotted one so it'll match um my letters and then i kind of like that there um we'll see definitely probably gonna keep those books back there but that might change um all of this again like i said is going to be reorganized um i decided last year i had these letters like just hang, like not hanging just like leaning up against um the molding there because my molding was different last year this one's a lot nicer but it's thinner so it won't lean up against so i decided to just hang them on the wall so i really like how that turned out yesterday and then i didn't know how i felt about my desk not like being close to my door last time i had it like right across this time it's kind of tucked away in this corner is really the only spot to put it but i think it'll end up working because um i'm gonna take all that stuff out and put it dispersed somewhere else um but i think i'm gonna have to put my teacher books and things right there so it'll be perfect it'll be right behind me so i can see everything grab everything that i need um, last year so this is like all the space that I have for their book bags and their coats which last year I had not that much I had a little maybe even had half of that it was crazy so um, I requested once I found out I was getting, getting copies she asked if I wanted it the same and I was like no we need to make the space bigger so they made this bigger for me and I need to get some bins down here I might just get like some sturdier um what's it called like baskets laundry baskets or something and put those at the bottom and then assign a kid or a group of kids to each basket um last year was the book bag situation was horrible so we're gonna fix that this year and hopefully they can hang their coats up there last year i had to have them hang them in the hall because there was literally no space um so i'm hoping that will work out perfectly um and then there was stuff still left from the teachers before me, so I took that down yesterday. But this is pretty much what we're working with today. The goal is to hopefully hang up most of like this paper and stuff. Actually, the paper that I have, I have like very little left. I had to order more. I'm not sure if I have enough. We'll see. I'm hoping I do, but if not, I did order more, but it's not gonna be here for like a few days. So we'll see. We'll get as much done on that and that as we can today and hanging up some decorations. But the main focus is gonna be these crazy boxes on the floor. Um, all of that's like decorations, my teacher stuff, my teacher files, all the stuff. So we're going to try and work on all of this and that today as well. So Laura's going to be here soon. We'll see how much we can get done because we really can crank this out when we're together. So I'm super excited for her to come and see how much we get done today.
hello everyone it is like a week or two later and i am back so i kind of took like a week off because i needed to get some um like paper for up here and of course the store didn't have what i needed and i needed to order it and it took a little while to come in um so i had to wait for that until i could finish because pretty much right now like all i have to do is put up um all of like my board stuff cover it um there and then just do like some finishing touches put my files away put the decorations and stuff on the walls so that's pretty much it um i know some people do like different parts to their like classroom setup and that's what i did last year but because this year i didn't have as like much stuff that i needed to organize since i did that all last year i felt like i'm just gonna do one kind of longer classroom setup video that way it'll all just be in one but i have lots of stuff to show you that i got in that like week and a half two weeks that i haven't been in here so i'm gonna flip my camera around and i'm gonna show you everything that i got while i was away so this was the paper that i was gonna put up on these two boards here and of course i didn't have enough in the roll so i had to order a new one that's kind of what took a little while to come in um and then uh, last time I was here, I started kind of setting up stuff, um, and I this was all the paper that I had left from last year, plus this, like, wood one, and I thought the wood one would look kind of cool up there, but it just, like, looked way too dark with um, all of, like, this woodwork and stuff, and I had some, like, light pink um, border, but I didn't have enough border, and I'd have to order all new border, so instead, um, I got, like, this, like, pink one from Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna do this instead um, I didn't want to do like the same one because then that would be on all of them so um, those are the two that I'm gonna do um, right here I needed some more so if you can see like over here I'll walk over there um, I have like my holiday books and stuff in like these file bins from the container store and I got extra books for the different holidays from like Scholastic Points that I had and they didn't fit in the bin anymore. So I needed to get another one and then these are all like social emotional books slash like end of the year books, like specific unit read aloud books. Um, so instead of putting them in there, I thought it would be better to put them also in like those kind of containers. So I got two more from the container store um, and I'm gonna organize those. And then I got in um, this I ordered from Target. If you remembered earlier in like the video, I said I had something kind of similar to that last year for like extra supplies and it did not work. So I'm super excited this time. I'm going to use this. It's so much sturdier. Um, and then I'm super crazy and you guys should know by now that I'm really organized. So I'm going to like get like What's it called like drawer dividers or whatever and put them in these drawers and then divide up like the different colors of crayons and stuff because my kids never had the right colors for any of the things so i went to target and right here there's just like a bag of crayons because they were on sale for 50 cents and then in one of my bags down here there's also a bunch of markers because those were also for, on sale for 99 cents um so I don't have the dividers yet, but I will do that either today or tomorrow, depending on if I have a chance to run to the store. And then down here, all of these boxes, um, I have um, like pencil boxes that I got from Target. I'm gonna use those as like morning choice. Um, so I'm just gonna flip the camera around, I guess, to explain. So last year I had like, First, I had morning work, but we had free introduced breakfast last year for everybody. So more than half of my class got breakfast and they spent forever eating breakfast. So morning work didn't really work out because some of my kids just didn't have a chance to even do it and then never did it each day. So instead I switched to morning choice. So morning choice in the morning, I would just like pick like one of these um, like building options or whatever. And I'd put that on my U-shaped table and the kids could build in the morning or raw or color um and that just got a little a little too crazy um some kids would like take like extra blocks um or they'd just be like walking around trying to show everyone their creations or like making swords and having like sword fights in the classroom or like wouldn't stop drawing or would try and cut their paper and make snowflakes and it just was too crazy so this year i think i'm going to make like a bunch of like stem or like building bins and then in the morning the kids will each go over grab a bin and that'll be like their morning tub their morning choice for the morning instead that way each kid has their own it's on a little bin because last year was insane having one large bin for the whole class cleanup was just crazy um so 
I got those for Morning Choice. I'm definitely gonna make an entire video on that because I feel like I feel like that'll be a really good video and very helpful for people who are starting out or if your morning doesn't run great. Obviously, I haven't tried this yet, but I really, really think that it's going to be a lot better. So I have those um, and that's pretty much all that I got. Um, so today, like I said, is just gonna be putting um, the paper and stuff on the board, putting up decorations. Um, I have like my files still over there that I have not put in my file cabinet yet. So I'm gonna do that today. My mom is actually coming today because um, last year um, I had her paint like the wall behind these cubbies so she's gonna come back and she's gonna paint them again because it looks super crisp with the white but it's almost like too much white I just want a little bit of color um, and because I have everything in front it just like the color peeks through just a little bit so it's not that big of a deal um, but it does make a little bit of a difference so she's gonna come in she's gonna do that for me today and hopefully they redo that soon um, he told me he would um, we still have like a couple weeks until school starts so hopefully they'll have a chance to get that done and I still need a smart board so hopefully I can ask and see when that'll come in soon but yeah that's pretty much what today is is just decorations files um and that's pretty much it um, I might come back tomorrow and that's when I'll do like splitting up these things because I need to go to Hobby Lobby and get some drawer dividers. Um, and then I think tomorrow is when I'm going to do the morning choice stuff maybe. And I'll just make, like I said, an entirely separate video of that. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at today. I'm going to get started. Um, one of my teacher friends is here, so I'll probably go downstairs and hopefully not spend too much time hanging out with her. Um, but yeah, so my mom's coming today. Laura's coming today. We're going to be productive. We're going to get stuff done because I'm just like ready for it all to be officially set up. Hello everyone, it is the next day and I know I only have to look worse because anytime I'm like filming stuff for a classroom setup by the end of the day, I'm just so tired and I never film anything at the end, but it's the next day. I will show you everything that we got done yesterday. We were here so 
late. I didn't think that we were gonna be here that late yesterday, and we were. Um, painting took a little bit longer. Um, I had some leftover paint from last year, but then like we got new paint this year because I didn't have enough, and just like the mix, it didn't mix very well, but my mom did a great job. The paint looks awesome. We got a ton of decoration stuff done yesterday. We got like all the boards done. Um, we just didn't get like a few little things done, um, but I will flip this around and I will show you everything that we got done yesterday um, since I didn't show you last night. <laughs> so don't mind all the clutter still, um, but we got this whole entire wall done. Um, these, oh my gosh, are such a pain to hang up because you have to make sure that they're like kind of close um, to like the same distance apart. So that was a pain. Thankfully, it wasn't as bad as last year. Last year, it took us, I think like four tries to get the alphabet, but this time we got all these up. I love the pink on the background. Um, I put my birthday board here. Um, I don't love that it takes up so much space, but I know that my kids loved it last year. Um, what I do is I have the kids all like grouped together, whoever's birthday's in like January, February, March, and they hold up like a piece of paper that has the day of their birthday. And then I take their picture and then put it up there. They loved that. So I wanted to make sure that I had that again this year so this is all done um minus i might put the mirror like over there or something um but then over here um i think i told you this was the paper that i used last year and if you can kind of tell this one's a lot whiter i didn't realize this was like more gray and it's like kind of a weird like texture like this is it right here i don't know if you can like see but it's like not really paper but it's not really fabric i don't know but it's super glossy um and it's a little bit more gray i don't love it as much as i liked it last year with like how white this one is but i did all that work i'm leaving it up there it's good enough um i just don't love the glare um i know laura mentioned there's like some sort of like matte spray but that's a little too much for me so i'm just gonna let it go um i also think this room gets so much more sun because i am actually at the front of the building this year instead of the back so i think it's also like the sun just comes in better and glares on it but i loved my setup last year with like all of this here um if you're here last year you know um i like didn't have this whole board over here i just had like a random whiteboard and that's where i put like the daily schedule counting the days of school and all that jazz so i put that right there and then i'm hoping the smart board is going to go here um i don't know when they're going to put it in i might ask today um but yeah, so I have our daily schedule and then I have like, we have like a weird, we run in a weird schedule. We have like maroon, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then we do gold, A, B, C, D, E, F, and just like rotate through the um, encores or specials or whatever. So I need to make like a little sign that says like encore schedule and then I'll put that there. And then I don't do class drops. I just do junior teacher. I saw that from elementary with Emma um, and I tried that out last year and it worked amazing i loved it so i just need to make like a little sign and then of course when i get my class roster i'll make like cute little name plates for all the kids with magnus on the back and we'll just put those up um over here this is what my mom did yesterday so like behind all these was just white and i know that you can't see it like a ton especially on like that one because there's just a bunch of stuff on that but like it just peeks through a little bit and really just like adds a nice touch to the room so i'm so excited that she was able to come and do that for me yesterday um I'm not gonna lie, I got none of my files done, which is just like boring stuff that nobody wants to see, but I just have all my files in a box and they need to go in there. Um, and then I did not have time to do, um, to like put all of these new books or these old books into these new containers. Um, I didn't get a chance to do that either. So we did make some progress. Um, I think what I have left is um, my number line that I do across and then just like some extra like you are loved signs on the wall um, and then whenever they finish <laughs> that um, I will put today a reader tomorrow a leader right up there but other than that it's almost done. <laughs> 
So like I said, pretty much is almost done with the exception of those things that I just said. Um, and then my morning cart, which I told you that I am gonna do an entirely separate video just on that because I feel like that's interesting. So um, it'll be way more detailed in that video, but I think I'm just gonna end the classroom setup here. Um, I know I was just all over the place last year, I was a lot more meticulous, um, but this year, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of like still recovering from the school year last year. So. Last year was like right before my first year. I was so excited, had so much energy, and now my energy is like slowly coming back. Um, but it's definitely not the heightened that it was last year. So I think I'm just gonna end it here. I think I said I was just gonna do one giant video, and I think that's gonna be it. I don't think I'm gonna do a part two um, because, like I said, all the stuff that I have left is just kind of like boring stuff that you don't really probably want to watch. Um, so yeah, we're gonna end the video here. Um, I'm gonna do my morning cart today so you guys can look out for that video. It'll be super detailed and hopefully helpful for some of you if you're trying to like switch up like your morning or something. And I'm hoping that it makes my morning run just a little bit smoother than I did last year. Um, but that is it for my classroom setup 2022 to 2023 school year. I am very excited to see how my second year goes and definitely see like, what I learned last year and how I can switch things up for this year and hopefully make it just a little bit better. Um, but that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys were here last year, um, give me a big old thumbs up or comment down below. Um, yeah, I'm super excited and hopefully I'll be able to take you guys along with me a little bit more on a year two. Bye guys.